Woman stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Lock the city gate. Get on <laughs> with it! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed you his betrayed high You betrayed us! King. Best we know now, Adlar. You're all hard, baby. Traitor! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder! Ulfric Liar! Challenge Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat! Such is our way. The High King Such was a is child. The custom of Skyrim and all Nords. And he used Very the voice to here. shout him practically to pieces. I don't know that opening the gate deserves I'm beheading. Staying. I go to Sovereign God. Ooh. Okay. Well, what do you got to say? Excuse me, I'm trying to watch a traitor to the Emperor lose his head. Yeah? Not right now. Rogvir, why did it have to be like this? A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, I don't know. Don't get too far ahead. I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. Ah, oh, I guess it's all over. I a traitor right up to well, the end. I don't know what I expected. You look like Go you could away. do with a ripe apple. Go away. Or a tomato. Cabbage. Or, or leek. Some gate guard you were! I expected more. That's definitely wow. going in my part of the Edda. Oh, it's just that. He died well. Radiant Raymond, yeah. Damn shame, Rob. I'm a little busy at you the should moment. have drawn it out I've got all sorts more. of errands. He deserved a slower death. It shouldn't have been. He like should have this. drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. Hmm. Oh. I can hear water in there. I bet you I can go down in there later. Fancy ropes. You a wizard or something? It's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude. Don't go anywhere. And the troops out in the field. They all need weapons and armor. You should look into joining. Fresh fish. They could use Fresh every fish hand they can get. Uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. Hmm. I guess that's... Yaro's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Return any time you, you need arms so for armor. I may have I accidentally let a prisoner escape. The leader of one of those bandit groups. I see. I told everyone he died during questioning. Oh. And I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. Hmm. I'll think Good. about it. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. Well, if I if I do it. Remember, I need that bandit. You're passing dead. through solitude. Maybe you're yeah, looking to make some it. easy gold. Yes. It's well, yeah, easy to mind. find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Oh, things shoot. from underground, Shh. or just left lying around in someone's house. I see. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I'm I knew listening. you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do hmm. something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Mm.
I'm gonna have to think about this, man. Don't worry about them. Yeah, what about we'll the sailors? make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. All right. Fair enough. Hey, you. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop, Radiant Raiment. We could fix you right up. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raiment's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Okay, that Good. sounds easy Here's enough. The outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raiment. over there. Remember Radiant Raiment when you need a change of attire. I have no business with you. Leave me. Oh. Okay. Are they just gonna leave that dude up there rotting? Yeah, I guess so. This is a big town. Is that the palace? Well, here's the market district. Fishing pole. Spiced wine. Huh. Seen that before. I think I'm You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Have a spiced wine. Take a look. Okay. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough Food time shop. for wandering Skyrim. Fish shop. I've got your back. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. New in town, right? If you need a place to sleep, head over. I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. What the hell? Listen, Rogbeer and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. You know, the winking skeever's not just... I showed up to walk. I don't know if... They... It couldn't have happened to a nicer... I have no idea why... From that point forward, every time Vivienne and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. Oh, Beat me up, dump meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive Whoa, into dude. my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. Hmm. So when you talk about him being an honorable Nord, <laughs> pure folly. Work in it, I own it. Oh. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Scooter, wow. but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. Well, I was done talking anyway. Solitude. Yeah, shut up. Who are you? Fletching suits me. It... Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies. But yeah. no real news. The no rumors are all true. Selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. You're a long way from home, But I'll be here in solitude for longer still. Fiata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. I see. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm. That is nearly white with, what do you call it? Oh yeah, snow. And far to the west lies a ruin, Volskaig. Inside there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. 
There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. A black wall that speaks. My position, Dean of History, hey. actually covers a wide range. Well, you've come to the right place. Yes. I suppose. Take that one because I want this one next. Because that will be useful. I should return to my papers. Hey, you. What a fast. I want more training. Well, you've come to the right place. Where can I find you, dude? What's his name? Gerard Germain? Wow, look at 54321, go! Hey, wanna play tag? 54321, go! Pardon me. Papa says I want to. Hey, wanna play tag? Hey, you wanna play tag? tag? No. Uh oh. Items. I gotta drop some stuff. Or give her some stuff. Hmm. If that is what you wish. Okay, mine. There we go. Let's go. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. Oh, that's right. There's a Temple of Divines. When I was here. a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. Ah! Uh. What is this? Looks like a mausoleum. This is a temple. Oh, it's the Hall of the Dead. It is the mausoleum. I'm betting the Blue Palace is that way. Oh no, that's the blue palace. So what's this way? Oh. Uh, Castle Bower. Swine right there. Let's see if it'll react to fire. Nope. 
Guess it ain't that strong, huh? Whoops. What's the hurry? Bradvar's house. They've had son's house. A manor house like all the other ones in the row. The Blue Palace. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. to work on. Yes, well, it's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace Dean Inga on many says Bard can never have enough practice. Is late? Is you out? ask me, this like damned rebellion can't end soon enough. You, I had to you end help me. You help people, place. right? Too That's what you do. Travel. Sure. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Oh, why don't you, oh, leave you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Well, Last I saw he? him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Yarrow. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace. To speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages the since they had wall. last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very oh, no, important. That's in that other place. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Without his guidance. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing. And so very Dude, worthy. Your masters are dangerous. Isn't it? He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But he has forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Until next time. Where's the Barge College? Oh. So if 
I turn around. On an old madman. Shiagarath. That's what it sounds like to me. Is this the Barge College? Where's the Barge College? Oh. This is where I get my speech skill improved, right? Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the head. Always a, a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. I'm thinking of joining the Legion. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes. If it exists, I'll find it. Our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. King Olaf's first. I need you to retrieve the poem. Why did Elisif forbid the festival? You may be festival? aware Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. Hmm. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude. But I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I wish you luck in finding the verse. Let's get going. Still here. My position. Good to meet a prospective bard. He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time, and a very ancient one. The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite, along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Be careful. Okay, then. You might find more than just King Olaf's verse in dead man's respite. I like your robes. Are you a sorcerer from the college? Be careful. Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. None of these are My skill books. Will lead our troops to victory. None of these are skill books. I am Dean of Luke. It takes two things to be a good teacher. The first is peace. A good story is the nine parts is a truth. Wooden stick for wrapping knuckles. Seems like most of these are nine parts fiction. Read 
carefully, you will see there are ways to stay true to the essence of Italy, even while making parts up. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. I've got your back. Is that mistletoe? Snowberries. I've got your back. Move. Huh? Move. 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 I've got your back. Ilding. I have faith what that you'll return with King Olaf's verse. And I wish you luck Only in finding reason the I'm so good with a good Lady Atia says my voice is set lifetime to her mask, the but she's selling me. You're new here, right? Morrowind suffered a massive explosion. So and why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. The person who writes it. And why wouldn't I? The person who writes it. And what? The person who writes it. Farewell, stranger. Red Mountain erupts. Try to be precise, Yor. Remember, being a bard isn't just about the music. And what might you need, hmm? Need something? A good story is nine parts truth and one part fiction. Seems like most of these are nine parts fiction. Can we really just make things up? It doesn't... Right. Read carefully. You will see there are ways to stay true to the essence, Ildi. Even while making parts up.
We've stopped. What is it? How are your students coming along? Hmm. Bunch of distractions, if you ask me. They just interrupt the rest of my... Look. I'm sorry to break it to you. Alright. Hero. But students are... Yes, so wrong. ...necessity of a college. Do try to persevere. Yes, Headmaster. And what might you need, hmm? It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Don't look too far ahead. Take care with those flames.
This is fucking stupid. Are you fucking kidding me?